What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are out on the river for some crappie fishing. I have been getting that crappie fishing bug lately. With the cooling temperatures and just kind of traveling around and going finding different spots to crappie fish, I'm coming back to this spot, been here one other time, and hopefully these crappie are starting to set up in brush piles that look just like that. These crappie are coming in from the main lake, moving up to the creek, up the river, just moving up with uh, South Texas finally uh, starting to get those cool temps. I mean, it's in the 40s right now and I've been paddling, we're on the kayak. So I'm getting a little bit of, not all, almost sweat on. So even though I got a sweater on, I might have to shed this thing here in a little bit, but this water looks awesome. The trees are finally down here in South Texas starting to get some color to them. They're getting that yellow tint and I'm hoping we can take some jigs and drop them in on these brush piles and catch some crappie. It'd be nice to get a big old stringer full of them, but I'm ready. Let's go to paddling and get to our spot. Got some deer right here on the bank that are just kind of looking at me right here. It's kind of cool because our treetops right here and there is literally nobody out here. This is what we are gonna be using. I've got a double jig rig with it about, oh, two, two and a half feet, almost three foot. And I've got an eighth ounce uh, jig head on the bottom so it'll weight it down a little bit better and a 1 16th right above it. And they've got the same plastic on here so I'm not gonna really worry about it. And if I, I'm not catching them on this, then I'll switch up. The cool thing about kayak fishing like this, if you don't have a wind, we don't really have a wind, but I can feel there's a little light breeze. These make things become sailboats and you can literally sit on top of the crappie on these things, which is so awesome. So I'm just gonna slow drift into here. All right, I took the double jig off. I got hung up and broke off. So there is just brush pile all out in here, but I'm kind of thinking that the crappie, if they were in here, they'd probably be about more, more towards the main part of this tree, but I'm gonna drop it right here and hopefully there's one sitting there. Let's go over here to this other brush pile and see if there's any in it. I guess he didn't feel like cutting down on the wake there. Alright, let's see if there's some crappie in here. Drop it on down around these, this brush pile. Lay down, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully I can call it a crappie hole. It's going to be nice as I can kind of walk this jig around down in here and hold on to the branches. I can probably just sit on this backside and get my, I got my 12 foot pole and I can jig all that stuff on that other side too. That'd be kind of nice. There's one right there. There's something. Crappy. 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 Found him. 
That's a keeper. Ooh, slammed it. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm being so quiet. Ooh, hey. That felt good. That, I don't know. I've been searching these trees and then finally just a thump. Feels so good. Get this jig out. There. Yeah, that's a keeper right there. Oh, I gotta be so quiet. I'm on top of them. Let me see just to see. Just to double check and make sure. Bottom, oh gosh, that's a 12 incher. Now I can't make much noise or movement. Whoo, dang. That thump felt good. Oh, here comes the wind. Put that bad boy in the water, see if we can get some more. I'm just going to sit here and jig a little bit more. And then I may have to search for them again. Well, I'm going to go on the hunt and see if I can go find them, possibly. Even though this wind's starting to kick up. There's one right there. I was sitting on top of them. Oh, my goodness. I was sitting on top of them. Oh, sit right there, buddy. I got to get back over to this tree. Hmm, gonna be close. Oh, jig just fell right out. It's a keeper, ten and a quarter. Was like three or four foot deep not very deep at all so they are definitely up under this tree and that wind is kicking so I'm just going to sit here jig this little spot Ooh, there comes the wind. Dang. Hopefully I get some fired up. I don't know. Well, I ain't gonna lie. It has been a serious grind out here. I can't tell you how many times I've lifted up that pole and dropped it in a little hole up next to a brush pile, lay down, whatever you want to call it, and just waiting for that bite. The bite just died, died, died big time. So these crappie, I don't know what they did. The wind picked up. It was 40s this morning. And now I'm in a short sleeve. And I am probably going to sweat from paddling all the way back to where we need to go. Because it is like 80 degrees. So what is that? Almost a 40 degree swing from this morning. So I don't know if that freaked out the crappie and they just basically shut off. They went down to the bottom under those brush piles. I have no idea, but we did get these two right in there. Not too bad. They're doing all right, but 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Does a swing of temperature affect crappie that much? Or if you guys, maybe it turns them on. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, you guys. And thanks for watching. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.